Back here in Denver again, I'm with my friend Lance Miller, the 2005 world champion. Lance, so good to see you as, as always. Uh, different question for you than the other champs. You taught me about a topic or a concept years ago called life force. What is that in a speech and why is it so vital? Well, we're not just nerve synapses and hormonal shifts, you know, in a brain. We actually have a life energy that exists beyond the body. And we know that because we get excited and enthusiastic about things and we didn't breathe in anything different, we didn't eat anything different, we didn't have any, um, you know, drink anything different. Something happened. Our team scored a football, or our football team scored a touchdown and we jump up and we're excited and that's the life energy coming out of us. And what that, what I, what I had to, what I struggled with in my speaking was finding messages that were connected to me and that life energy. And I really talk about, to me, it, it, it's our authenticity it's our conviction, our belief in our message. It's our passion for our message. It's, it's, it's that energy that we exude out. And when you connect that with the message, there's a great, there's, it's almost magic what happens on stage. Yeah. And what I see people that get up and they give a rehearsed speech, it's in their mind. And they wrote the speech and the lines go like this and they stand up and they go, they say the words the way they're supposed to, but they don't have their life energy in it. And you, somebody stands up and you know that they really care yeah. And they really believe in what they're saying. And it comes across and it, it, it permeates okay. that audience with a power that connects. Because like I said we, we have a, whether you want to call it emotional, spiritual, whatever energy that we have, and that is that conv conviction and belief. That is the value. Those are the core things that we, that we live for. And it's not a physical energy. It's a life energy that we exude. And that's what I really talk about and what I try to bring out in people. And audiences know that too. They often don't know what it is. They just yeah. know you've got it. Yeah. And, and a couple of our speakers in the world championship today have it. They had it. And one of the things I talk about, you got to believe your message and you got to feel like you're going to make a difference to the audience. And it isn't about going out and saying the words you meant to say. It's about connecting with that audience. And we all, we've all talked to people who we, we talked, we didn't feel, you know, a car salesman or something. They right. didn't care. They didn't care. They were just like, well, if this is what you want, we can do this, right? And there's no life energy. There's no connection. For you to sit down with somebody who really cares and goes, no, you need to get this. This is going to make a difference in your life. And you, you realize the guy really cares about it. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, can tell. and the same, you know, when you're on stage and somebody's, that authenticity, which is, that authenticity is your life energy. That's what it is. It is your belief, your sincerity. It is the essence of you coming across. And that's, uh, that's, that's a magic thing when you tie into it. But here's the other thing. Most of our life, we get slapped down and invalidated for exuding our creativity. Yeah. And when we're little kids, we're creative. We're told to sit there and be quiet. When we're in school. We're not asked to stand up and give an original thought. I, I always spent a lot of time in the hall because I was creating when I was in school. They didn't want me to create. They wanted me to read what somebody else figured out and then take the test to show that I, I learned what somebody else figured out. Yeah. Well, I wanted to figure my own stuff out, you know? And so... You know, so you did that in the hall, right? Yeah, I did that in the hall. Okay. I had table topics with the with the principal. Okay, and so, uh, but it's that creativity that's our life energy. But that gets it, it from my perspective invalidated, crushed, and then we stop doing it. Yeah. And then we are looking for other people to tell us what we should think. We want to get approval from other people. And the whole thing about speaking Toastmasters for me is it reignites that creativity. It reignites that um, original thought. The fact that we have solutions to things that other people don't have and we can get we have value to the world that we bring to the world because Toastmasters environment should be a safe environment to stand up and say things and you don't get slapped back down for it right. and you know bring somebody in 30 years of being slapped down and they stand up and they can't even give a six minute speech that's how bad we are yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what helps. but clearly you have the life energy and I believe your your speech your uh, championship speech is on YouTube isn't it Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah well, it's, it's on my website. It's okay. on YouTube, yeah. I'll so. put a link to both below. Yeah. Thank you, Lance. Okay. Always good to see hey, you, my Mike's, friend. And thank you great. for exhibiting Life Force. Oh, thanks. You're All welcome. Right. All right, guys. Thanks.